Hey everyone, we're back with this game. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, we'll be doing a few games, two or three games of this. Haven't done it in a while. I wonder if we'll get to the million. Or close, or at least 32 grand. Right then. Take it away, Chris. What a guy, Chris Tarrant. There he is. Yes, hello, Chris. Well, how's that possible? How's that possible, Chris? I mean, currently, I don't think it'll be open. I mean, do you know what's happening, Chris? I mean, well, they're reopening things, but I don't think that's going to work, Chris. I need, a, I need a prize. I need a different prize, please. Alright, Chris. If you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. Yep. 50-50, friend, 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 or can ask, 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 ask the audience. Yeah. Okay, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players. We can play yes, Chris. Wants to be a I'm ready. I'm ready to play. I hope I do well. Right, you have 15 questions and three lifelines. Very best of luck. Let's play. Well, thank you, Chris. I really appreciate that. Okay, for 100 quid, here's question number one. Okay, question one for 100 pounds. Slang for money. Lolly. That's great. Yeah. That's the right answer. Good start. Question number two, it's worth 200 quid. Question two for 200 quid. Well, that'd be fair trading. Office of fish tinning? Fluffy toys with fair trading. Yeah, the other three are made up, and they just didn't sound right at all. Fair trading seemed the proper, like a, a proper, a grown-up answer. Here's question number three. It's worth three hundred pounds. Question three for three hundred pounds. What is getting wider by two to four centimeters each year? What a person, Paul. I don't even know who that is. I think if he is getting two to four centimetres wider each year, isn't he going to explode or something? I mean, what on earth? UK's trade gap. Sumo wrestlers, well, no. It's got to be the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Thank you, Chris. I knew it was Atlantic Ocean. I mean, UK's trade gap, no. Why would it... I don't know who the D was. Who's Paul? Um, the only Paul I've heard of is Paul Sinner, which is a chaser of the quiz show, The Chase. Question four for 500 quid. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, oh god. Um, I'm not sure. Handsome? No. Handsome cab. Charming cab? Bonnie cab? I don't think it's Bonnie. I don't think it's C. I think it's a charming or handsome cab. But I, I, I can't decide which one. Oh, damn it. Already stuck. 
I'm going to have to use a lifeline. I'll phone a friend, because uh, they're not normally good when you get further up the money tree. Phone a friend. Right, you decided to phone a friend, but who do you think will know the answer to this one? Someone who's a Victorian? I don't know. Margaret. Come on. Oh, though, she's probably not that old, but still. Oh, yes. D is the correct answer to that. Choose D. I know it's the right answer. Thank you, Margaret. Ah, oh, that's one of the two I was thinking it was, but I didn't know. Handsome cab. I mean, it kind of sounds more realistic than charming cab. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Mm, I didn't know which one out of the two. Oh well. Safe than sorry. We've got 500 quid in the bank. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Thank you, Chris. I, I'll, I'll do it at my best. Hopefully I know it. In which part of the British Isles is Grasnet Castle? Uh, that's... That's in... No, it's... Isn't it... It's either Scotland or Wales, I think. I think it's Welsh, actually. Uh... Right, I don't want to use another lifeline, unless I have to. But, I think... Like... Uh... I don't recall it being in England or Ireland. Because I, uh... England, I don't think it's there, is it? Or am I just losing the world to the... Uh... I mean... Wait, isn't Glas... Oh, it's Glas... I mean, Glasmus Castle? Isn't Glasmus a little village in, um... Scotland? Uh... Is it... I think it's a village in Scotland. I was thinking Scotland, but I doubted myself, and thinking it was Wales. Oh, I might have to take a risk here. I don't know. Um, I think Scotland. Because when it says Glasmus, I think Glasmus was a, is a village uh, in Scotland. Oh, I'm going to go for it. Oh, yes! Come on! One thousand pounds guaranteed. Let's go. Still got fifty fifty in our skill. You've reached the first milestone, that's one thousand pounds. Now have a look at question six, because it could double your money to two thousand. Alright, Chris. Hopefully I know it. Hopefully. Where is the Black Country Living Museum situated? West Midlands, Snowdonia, or East Anglia? Oh, sorry, but I don't, I don't know this one. The next one. Or is it the West Midlands? I'm going to ask the audience, they'll know it. I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, you'd like to ask the audience. Audience, have a look at the possible options. Are you ready? Okay, or boat. Now. And the audience look lost and bored and just the West Midlands. Ah, uh, I think an X War West Midlands, but I didn't know which one. Okay, it's the West Midlands. Two thousand pounds. Right answer. Right answer. Yes, Chris. Thank you. Oh, I thought it was one of the top two. Better be safer than sorry. We've only got a 50 50 left. And my goal for this episode to get at least £32,000. That would be great. Uh, question 7, fourth round. Which of these reigning English queens never married? Elizabeth I. Never married. Mary the first. Elizabeth I Victoria. did. Victoria did. Is it Mary the first? I don't think. Okay, uh, well I know Victoria definitely did, and I know Elizabeth the first did. It's Anne or Mary the first. I think it's Mary the first. But I can't be sure. Uh, 
damn. Uh, Isn't Mary the Flint? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Mary the First or Anne? I think it's Mary the First. I'm gonna have to 50 50 because I'm not too sure. I think it's Mary the First. I don't know if well, Victoria definitely got married. Okay, you decided to use your 50 -50 and Elizabeth I, I'm sure, as well, but I don't know between Mary the First and Anne. I think it's Mary the First. If it's still there, I'll go with it. It's still there. I'm gonna go for it. Mary the First. Oh, what? It's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Elizabeth the First, really? Oh, wow. Well, you do drop a thousand pounds. Damn. Away. You still leave us with one thousand. I know, Chris. I'll still leave with a grand. Ah, oh, damn. Really? Oh, I lost. <laughs> ah, not too bad. We got a grand. Oh, that's a surprise. I, I did not think. So, you've had another... Yes, Chris. Chris, don't fall asleep, please. Okay, for hundred quid. Here's question number one. Okay. Alright, not bad. A, a grand. Better than nothing. Right. Boat. That's absolutely correct. Well done. Boat, coat of goat. That would be weird. Uh, yeah, it's A. Okay, good start. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Spanish. Milan is Italy. No, it's not this, but Madrid. That's absolutely correct. Well played. Thank you, Chris. It's just as soon as I saw Madrid, I knew that it was it was D because Madrid's in Spain. Here's question number three. It's worth three hundred pounds. Question three. Three hundred quid. The height of a horse. Oh god. Um. The hand? No. Hand and toe? Oh my god. Uh, I think it's the hand. Why would it... I'm trying to think. Well, why would it be finger? Why would it be the knee? The toe? It could be the hand. Yes! Okay. Hesitant on that, but didn't need a lifeline. We've got 300 quid in the bank. Let's keep it going. All three lifelines still remaining. Remember, a wrong answer here, and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that will happen. Question number four. Okay, Chris. Question four for 500 quid. Robin Hood is represented by which animal? Is it Robin Hood a fox? It's not a dog, not a lion, not a bear. He's a fox. Yeah, nice. 500 quid, almost a grand, and all three lifelines. Come on, let's get to a grand without using a lifeline. 
But if I need to use one, I've got to use one. I wouldn't want to leave with nothing. Because I think I did that in the first uh, episode of this edition. Question number five. Under starters orders. Uh, now I like my sport. The thing is, I don't know this. I don't know this one. So I'm gonna call someone. I don't know this one. Okay, you decided. I have an idea what it is, but I don't know it. And I'm not gonna share with you guys you until after the photo frame. I have an idea, but I really don't know, so what's the point of risking it? Margaret, you helped me before, please help me again. Yes, that's definitely C. I'm absolutely positive. Choose C. Horse racing. Thank you game. so much, Margaret. What a legend Margaret is. You put in put in the comments, Margaret is a legend. That's twice he's helped me out. Horse racing. Was that horse? Yeah, horse racing. No, I would have got it wrong. Absolutely spot on. Well done. I kind of thought it was boxing. Oh, then again, I never heard, like, let's say KSI versus Loader 4. Never heard that term, so. But I thought it would have been boxing, but no. Thanks, Margaret. Help me get another grand. See if we could go further this time, though. What name is given to Muslims who have made the pilgrimage to Mecca? Because I'm a Muslim myself. No, I'm not. I don't know. I'm sorry. I think it's actually I've heard. I've heard of Haji to do with that though. So what I think is C. I could take a little risk here. I'm going to go for it. Yes! Come on, let's go! Two grand. I think the furthest I got up was uh, question eight, and I walked away. I, I didn't go for 16 grand. I wonder if we'll actually get that question, if I can get to there, that is. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Four grand question. James Bolam and Michael French play father and son doctors in which BBC series? Off the old block, born and bred, like father, my family. Thing is, I haven't watched any of those. I think I've heard of Michael French, but I haven't heard of it. I don't know this. I'm going to have to ask the audience. They'll probably know it. I hope so. Sir, you decided to ask the audience. Well, now let's hope that they can help. <laughs> I like how Chris says, you decided to ask the audience. He raises his voice a little bit when he says ask the audience. He's just alerting them. Because they, look, they just all look half asleep. B, born and bred. Okay. Thanks, audience. You learn something new every day. Right. A new PD for this episode. Got to foreground. Well, it's a play father and son. It could have, it could have been like father, if I was thinking logically. But no, it, it would have been wrong. Right, here we go. Question for eight grand. Yeah, let's have, let's have a look, Chris. It's completely free. Let's have a look. August 2003, which planet moved closer to Earth than it has been for 60,000 years? <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn? Okay. Closer to the Earth than it has been for 60,000 years. And that's an 8,000 pound question. Well, which one's the closest to the Earth? Is it Mars? Mars, Jupiter, Venus? Uh, no, Saturn's the further one. I think it's Mars. Because Mars is the closest to Earth, and it could have moved even closer to it. Because the others are not as close as Mars are. Mars bar. Mars are. So yeah, I think Mars. I think it's Mars. Or is it? 
I'm gonna go with Mars. Yes! yes! It's probably because of that. Mars is the closest to the Earth anyway. I'm sure. Venus, Jupiter and Saturn are further than Mars. Yes, come on! Eight grand! Oh, we still got a 50-50. I've only got one lifeline. The million doesn't seem likely, though. Could get 32 grand. We'll see. In which month is Rugby Union's varsity match usually played? I don't know. February, September, or April? Because the Rugby Union is not my thing. 50-50. Right, computer, we need a bit of help here. Take two of the answers away and hopefully make things a bit easier. A bit easier. Yes, please, Chris. December or February? Well, December, like winter, well, February's still classed as winter, isn't it? No. Oh, God. Uh... I've got a guess, haven't I? Because if I get it right, then I've got a PB. Uh. Damn it, man. Uh... Uh... Okay. I think so. Oh my god. I don't think it's the end of the year, I think it'd be February. Um, but I might, oh, I don't know. No, it could be. Uh, uh, okay, let's think. There could be change in my mind coming into play here. So, um, oh god. So, um, I'm guessing that's like a. I don't know. Is it a special kind of rugby union cup or something? And it could be to do at the end of the year. I mean, I see little bits of rugby union on the TV now and then. I don't think that's to do with a Barisity Cup match or whatever. I could go with December. I might regret this, but I might change to December. I'm going to go for it. Oh my god! Come on! Oh! Thank goodness for that logic. Oh my god, I'm just relieved. But here we go for 32,000. Can I do it? Okay, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose 15,000. Right, here we go. Get it right and you win 32,000. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Right, can I do it? Here's the question. The Turner Prize is open to British artists under what age? 25, 40, 50, or 35? Oh, really? I don't know this. Okay, well, 25. I don't. I think it would be. That's too. That's. No, that's too little. Surely you have older people than that getting a Turner Prize. Uh, let's think. Well, it could be 50. 50 or 40 is what I'm thinking. Well, that's safe. I really want to play this question, but at the same time, I don't. Uh, I would say 50, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't want it to be wrong. I might have to take the 16 grand because I don't know. 
but one question away from my goal. No, I gotta go for it. Oh no, I, I, I can't. No, I'm not risking it. I'm out. I'm taking 16 grand. I would have said 50. Oh gosh, I'm not surprised he's going to comment what the answer would have been. If it's 50, then I'm not going to be so happy with myself. Oh, I think it would have been C. Thinking about it. B or C. 35 still too young. Well then. That was pretty good. We got a grand. And we got 16 grand. Could have been 32. If I played the question. Or I could have lost 15 grand. But I will do. More of the second edition soon. So I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Goodbye and thanks for watching.